Father, we thank you, Lord, for who you are, Lord. Thank you for allowing us to gather before you. Lord, we ask you that you would just increase this sense of your presence on our hearts, on our minds, or touch our bodies and glorify your son as we worship you. In Jesus' name. There was a moment when the lights went out When death had claimed its victory The king of love had given up his life The darkest day in history Sing there on a cross His blood atones One final breath And it was finished But not the end We could have known
We're going to take some time to take communion together as a family. If the different leaders could prepare for that. We want to take some time, of course, to obey the command of Jesus, to do this in remembrance of him. But the joy and the delight of communion is the command of Jesus to come around the table together to meditate on the cross together and long for the day in which he joins us at the table. So I want to encourage us. The command of Jesus to remember to me indicates how easy it is for things like this to become rote, to become routine. And the longing of the heart of Jesus was for communion and the cross to never become part of the religious routine, that it would always be relational as we consider the blood of Jesus and the cross of Christ. So I was gonna ask for fresh grace as we as a family gather around the communion table together, ponder the cross together. Lord, I'm asking that you would increase the spirit of revelation, insight and understanding God, I'm asking that our meditation, our remembrance of the cross and your sacrifice for our redemption, God, that we would gain new insights together as we pray and remember and meditate, that our hearts would be moved. God, I'm asking that our hearts would ever be moved. Don't let us grow cold in the act of communion, but I'm asking for that fresh move of the Spirit on our heart in revelation that causes our heart to move as we remember you. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless you as you take communion together. Awaken my soul. Come away. Seek to thirst Awaken first love Come away And do as you
invite you guys, let's not check out right now. Let's actually uh, pray these lyrics right here. Let's make this our prayer. Lord, we thank you for the elements. We thank you for c communion. We thank you that you are really in the body and the blood. You inhabit it. You glorify it. You clothe it with glory. Lord Jesus, would you come and move on us tonight as we partake of you. service tonight 
bless us as a family, as brothers and sisters. Help us to connect to each other. Help us to connect with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Aaron and worship team. Let's go ahead and remain standing. We're gonna recite the Apostles' Creed. We'll have it up on the screens. We do this every communion weekend together as a statement of our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again, the dead. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let's take a moment and just greet the folks around you. Just reach your hand out and say, I know your name because I sit in the same section every week. That's why we do it then. I know your name.